it's it's healing it's wanting to help it's balance and patience and purpose right to the two of pentacles prioritization to the king of cups because of your great love for this person or this situation the ace of cups in reverse all of all all kinds of hurt feelings okay so temperance wanting to help two of pentacles wanting to help balance something out king of cups rooted in just pure love to the six of pentacles giving receiving sharing the eight of swords in reverse kind of a new perspective it's kind of like well it's like it's like giving some someone or something a second chance here like i said it could be a child it could be a mother it could be a lover it could be a job right but you're trying to have a different, you're trying to have an open mind and an open heart and give something the benefit of the doubt, okay? Hey, you Pisces, it's Dana. How you doing? The Gypsy Psychic, Deep Thoughts with Dana. But it's now the Gypsy Psychic, right? If you are new to the channel, come on in, welcome. If you're coming back, some old friends coming to shoot the shit and do some tarot with me, Y'all, all y'all, because I'm in the South now for a little bit, right? All y'all, come on, pull up a chair, get comfortable, grab a blanket, grab a snack, grab something to drink, something to smoke, put your feet up, put your earbuds in, and let's dive in to some tarot for the collective of Pisces. I, my friends, am a Taurus sun, but I am Pisces moon, Pisces rising, and Pisces Venus. So I look forward to these general readings just like you guys do, right? I cannot wait to see what happens here. Um, and I know that it's a general reading, right? And you should know that too. It's a general reading. And so word, be careful with the general readings. They will screw with your mental. They will. They will screw with your mental. If you do it for entertainment purposes, awesome, have at it. But if you need wisdom, guidance, clarification, or understanding of any aspect of your life, it is imperative that you get your own cards read or you will be wasting precious, precious time. And believe me, my friends, life is short. You will be wasting precious time obsessing and trying to get to the bottom of something with a bunch of, of shotgun information when all you got to do is get your cards read and you will know your true story, right? Right on. All right, you guys, let's throw down for Pisces. This is going to be like it always is. I'm going to shuffle. I'm going to pray. I will lay out at least 15 cards. We'll talk about it as I clarify it, and we'll sew together a story, okay? The cards are going to be right up, right up here, and uh, let's do it, okay? Let's do it. All right. Spirit. Ooh, the magician face up in the deck. Interesting. Spirit. <laughs> Pisces is going to be a good one. They're jumping already. Spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Pisces with me. Spirit, what does Pisces need to know? What's coming towards Pisces? What does Pisces need to look out for? What does Pisces need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate for their best and highest good? Spirit, the collective of Pisces, is coming to you looking for wisdom, guidance, and understanding. Can you please reveal the general overall theme for Pisces so they can have a little bit of an inkling of what, of what might be coming towards them and how to navigate for their best and highest good, Spirit? Not just for their best and highest good spirit, but for the best and highest good of everyone concerned. Spirit, please arrange yourself in the way you need to be seen in these cards to bring these messages to Pisces. I will shuffle just a few more times. I'll cut three times and I will pull straight from the top. Please arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen to bring the messages to the collective of Pisces that they need to know and understand. Spirit, please give me the eyes to see and the ears to hear. All right, let's do it. Ready? Let's go. Can you see these? Yep, yep, yep. Let's go. One, two, three. Oh, look at that, shallow. One, two, 
three. Bottom of the deck, the Prince of Pentacles. Interesting. All right. Let's do this. First card out, the Six of Pentacles. This is giving, receiving, sharing in the family unit. The Seven of Cups in reverse. Options, choices, decisions. The High Priestess, your intuition, your subconscious mind, you, Pisces, as the High Priestess. You know why the High Priestess is Pisces? Because she's lesson number two in the Major Arcana. She is the second understanding that you have to have to go forward into the rest of the lessons and successfully complete a lifestyle. She's old wisdom right here. She's old wisdom. And Pisces is the oldest sign in the Zodiac, right? This is the card of Pisces. The High Priestess, the Princess of Swords. Communication, possibly. Possibly formulating a new thought pattern. The Four of Cups. Contemplation. Reevaluation. The Tower. Ooh-wee. Ooh, to Temperance. Mmm, Spirit. Talking to you. Us. The Two of Pentacles, prioritization and balance in the center of the spread. To the King of Cups, feelings, someone's feelings, your feelings. The Ace of Cups in reverse, bad feelings, hurt feelings, overwhelming feelings. The Eight of Wands, movement, action, change. Three of Swords, grief. But it's in the mental. Everybody always thinks this card is about heartbreak, but it's not about heartbreak. Swords energy is air energy, and air energy is about the mental communication. I like to think of it as it's like your whole head. The air energy is like your whole head, right? Um, the air energy is your head. The water energy is um, your 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 hand, your arms and your hands. I don't know why I associate it like that, but it's the feeling, it's the touching, it's how it's the expression, right? So that always makes me think of the water energy, and then the fire energy is right in the center of the chest, right? And the earth energy is always where my feet are planted, right? No matter what that is, what that is, where my feet are planted is where my security. Anyway. If that helps anybody who's trying to learn tarot out there. Okay, the Three of Swords. It is in the mind. It is grief and sorrow in the mind. To the sun in reverse. Maybe not seeing things clearly. Maybe not the happiness that you want. The King of Pentacles. Uh, probably somebody else in this reading. It could be representing you and your success. But we'll see when we get there. We're going to clarify all of this, of course. The world in reverse. This is um, a blockage. Um, sometimes it's about a shortcut. Not learning a lesson and then trying to go forward in life, right? The devil. Toxicity. An attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth. The three of wands in reverse. Obstacles to your long-term goals. A lack of foresight. Ten of Cups in Ten of Cups upright, the Ten of Cups, right? The be all to end all and emotional fulfillment. To the Five of Wands, conflict. The Ace of Pentacles in reverse, lost opportunity. The Queen of Cups in reverse, possibly lost feelings, maybe emotional insecurity. The Three of Pentacles, teamwork and collaboration. The Five of Pentacles in reverse, um, Financial hit, worried about a finance, coming out of a financial hit, coming out of a financial hit. Okay. Five of swords in reverse. Resentment or open to change. The ten of pentacles in reverse. Loss. The nine of swords. Oh, crazy anxiety in your head. Six of swords in reverse. Stuck and can't move on. Lots of water under the bridge. Prince of cups to the eight of pentacles. Prince of Swords in reverse to the Hermit and the Princess of Cups in reverse to the Emperor. Wow. Death in reverse. We got to take that. Woo! To the Ace of Wands. Cup how? Because if you keep doing what you always done, you're always going to get what you always got. And that would be an injustice to your life, not purposeful to your life. Princess of Pentacles in reverse. Stop manifesting. Okay, that's where we're going to stop. Okay.
All right, you guys. Well, let's see what all this is about right here. To tell the truth, I did a Pisces reading last night. I did, but <laughs> it took some medicine and I didn't realize that I was loopy, okay? I didn't realize it. But, um, and, and it didn't impact or affect my ability to channel. That's what I do. I do it, like I don't even try to do it and I do it, right? Um, so it didn't affect that, but it was so slow. I rewatched it and it was like slow motion Dana. <laughs> and it was like, oh my God. And I was so lit up in that video. And there's no way I can put that on YouTube. I mean, it's, there's just no way. I might release it as an extended reading or an additional reading, right? Depending upon how this one shakes out, we'll see. But um, it's a good reading and it was a reading and I'm going to talk. I, what, the reason I want to talk about it is before I clarify this and find out what's going on here, the reading that I did yesterday was um, about a decision that you were about about to make or was about to be offered to you that was a bad, bad, bad decision, uh, like a really bad decision. And you looked at the, you were ignoring your intuition and you looked as this, at the situation as something that could change a lot of different things in your life. And Spirit sh was screaming, no, don't do this, don't do this. And Pisces was just like, la, 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 doing their own thing, right? So I'm interested to see what, what happens in this reading. So I will release that reading because it was good, but you will have to excuse my um, my slowness. I was just, I rewatched that video this morning and I was like, is this on sl slow motion? <laughs> for real so you'll excuse that part of it i'll release it and let you guys see it because it's it really was a good reading as far as the message goes right all right let's clarify this there's a few things that y'all should know about me okay before we get started before you go any further in our relationship there's a couple of things that you need to know right from the get-go okay if i haven't sworn already i am probably going to swear so if swearing offends you you might want to go ahead and go home now okay um, I do it my way. Yes, I read reversals. Yes, I do X, Y, and Z. And I don't give a flying flip if you like it or not. If you like it, you're going to stay. If you don't like it, go. And there's no reason you try to tell everybody why you don't like it. Okay? Just go. Just go. Okay? All right, you guys. So the Six of Pentacles. So I'm going to clarify all of this. I'm going to fast forward through it. And then we're going to pick up right where we're leaving off right here, okay? And I will explain everything that's going on. But for the sake of the time of the video, we're just going to fast forward. I'm going to keep going, but I will fast forward it for you, okay? All right. So let's see what the Six of Pentacles is about right here. What is the Six of Pentacles about? So hey everyone, come on over to the Patreon page and check it out. See if it's something that you might be interested in. It is a more intimate environment where there is more one-on-one -on -one personal things happening. Of course, you get access to my videos ahead of time. You get access to any extended videos that I put out. And we have a once a month um, personal meeting where we all just sit around and shoot the shit about tarot and life and metaphysical stuff. We'll throw some cards and it's just going to be a fun one-on-one -on -one hangout kind of session. So if you're interested, come on over to Patreon. There is a link in the box below. Namaste. Hey, Pisces. All right. This is what's going on right here. Okay. This is what's going on. So you open up with the six of pentacles, right? The six of pentacles is happiness in your surroundings, right? There's enough more than enough, maybe. It's all good to the Queen of Pentacles. You're just feeling so secure and so good. And things right now are good for you. Okay? They're good for you. They're good for you. But then we have a message coming into you with the Princess of Cups, okay? That leaves you in a state of Seven of Cups in reverse, okay? It leaves you in a state of of confusion 
the devil, an attachment that is a restriction, some kind of toxicity to your life is the root of this Princess of Cups message right here to the wheel in reverse. This attachment that is a restriction to your growth is a blockage in your life. Ace of Wands, they want some kind of passionate, inspired new beginning to the star in reverse. But the star in reverse, being Major Arcana, says it's not purposeful in your life. It's not purposeful. Not, it's just not purposeful. Okay? Okay. The High Priestess, Pisces, in their glory, doing their Pisces thing, right? To the Five of Cups in reverse, Spirit guiding you in your intuition because your intuition is always Spirit guiding you in the direction that you need to go. You know in your intuition, in your heart of hearts, and in your soul of souls that it's time to move on from this particular situation. Um, leaving the loss, the regret, the despair, the disappointment behind. Leaving behind the emotional volatility, the emotional insecurity. Five of Wands in reverse and having an increased focus on goals to the Nine of Pentacles to remain self-sufficient and independent in this situation, bringing it to a culmination with judgment in reverse. Spirit saying, bad decision. Bad, bad, that this is, it's not purposeful, right? It's a bad decision. But Pisces is saying with judgment in reverse, they are reserving judgment. They're deciding to not decide at this particular moment, okay? And that's where the problem all comes in. If we could just stop right here and take judgment as saying bad decision, right? We have Pisces rocking right along. A message comes in from the devil, leaves them confused. This devil is a blockage in their life. The devil wants inspired new beginnings, but spirit says the star in reverse, it's not purposeful for your life. You as the high priestess, your spirit leading you in the direction you need to go says you need to move on. You need to bring it to a culmination. You need to stand strong. It's a bad decision, period. End of reading, right? If you want to just stop right there, honestly, the whole rest of this reading says that. And the reading that I did yesterday said that too. And I am absolutely going to make that an extended reading to this reading because it's, it, but it's so dramatic. It truly is. It's slow, but it's dramatic. Okay. Um, bad decision, period. If that's all you need to know, you can just cut out right now. That's what spirit has to say. You're doing good. Don't fall for it. It's a blockage in your life. Keep doing good. Go forward. Bad decision. Stand on your own. Stand strong. Close it out. Period. That's your message. If you want to stick around and we're going to unload all the rest of this, by all means, please do. So the princess of, of swords, right? This is... Um, this is, this is the Princess of Cups communication, okay? But this is Pisces um, planning how they're going to answer this whole thing, okay? It's not direct communication because it's followed by the Four of Cups. Contemplation, reevaluation, right? Pisces is, has, is, is reserving judgment in reverse, deciding to not decide and formulating some kind of thought pattern about this. Okay. To the four of cups. Again, spirit is saying, Pisces, please think about what you're doing right here. Seven of wands challenge, feeling backed in a corner. Perhaps what's happening over here is someone bringing you some kind of proposal that puts you out somehow, some way. Maybe somebody wants to come live with you. Um, maybe it's a, a job situation where it's, it's going to put you out somehow, take you away from home, maybe make you travel somehow, some way. But you're comfortable right where you're at. You're doing just fine just fine. And then this comes along, right? Okay. To the lovers, right? It is a significant situation or relationship. It is about a significant choice in your life. It is a tower moment. 
It is. It is a tower moment. What is the tower moment? I asked what it was rooted in. And what it's rooted in is the nine of cups, right? So your happiness, your success, your emotional success, your wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. And it's right underneath this queen of pentacles and the six of pentacles, right? It is reiterating that you are doing just fine right now, just fine fine, right? And this whole thing coming in, the message of the Princess of Cups, the Page of Cups that is coming into you, somehow, some way is going to threaten the life that you live. Somehow, some way. It's going to threaten the life that you live. It's going to disrupt it somehow, okay? Because it is an attachment that restricts your growth. So whatever this is, I believe you already are familiar with it because otherwise it wouldn't be an attachment that restricts your growth, right? So there's something here. It could be anybody in your life in any way whatsoever, okay? Anything. It's a general reading, okay? Okay. Seven of cups, right? Why are you so confused? Well, I'm sorry. That seven of cups is supposed to be in reverse. Seven of cups in reverse, right? All confused because of this page of cup, me, cups message that is coming into you. I want to back up this tower moment right here that is, that is threatening to take away your peace. Okay. Threatening to take away your peace. Um, it is, it's, it's a message for you. It, the tower doesn't happen without the intent of some kind of revelation or some kind of awakening. Okay. Hold on. I got to fix something real quick. There. Oh, that light, that kind of light was just killing my eyeballs. My God. All right. So, um, confused about this message, right? Um, to the princess, I'm sorry, the empress in reverse. The empress in reverse talks about codependency. To the two of cups in reverse, talking about an imbalanced relationship. What is happening here is that this situation for whoever it is that's picking up on this, okay? This situation is about someone that you are codependent upon or more likely than not, they are codependent upon you. Somehow, some way, they are codependent upon you. And the codependency is the imbalance in the relationship between the two of you. And that is why it threatens your happiness. Interesting. Temperance, spirit coming in, talking about balance, patience, purpose, patience, purpose, purpose, patience. Let's see. Purpose, patience, healing, tempered, perspective, seven of swords, justice. Okay. All right. So temperance is going to be about healing. Okay. Okay. So this whole thing right here, spirit says that, that this can be healed. Okay. It, it, it can, it can be healed. Prioritizing to the king of cups, right? Feelings, balancing out the six of pentacles, giving, receiving, sharing in a successful situation. But I want to point out that the Six of Pentacles right here in this particular deck is always an unequal give and take, right? Like I said, maybe this is going to put you out somehow, some way. But somehow, some way, even though it's a sharing kind of thing, um, you are going to be giving more in this situation than the other person. But you go into it full well, eyes wide open, knowing that. Eight of Swords in reverse. This is a new perspective. The five of swords in reverse, resentment, water under the bridge because of betrayal and deception, right? Well, the five of swords is also about being open to change, new perspective, open to change, 
about betrayal and deception because there's been some justice brought to the situation. And that is the communication that happens up here. The two of pentacles to the two of pentacles, it bal the situation balances out and the ten of swords in reverse says that it has, um, it has healed, it has regenerated, it's renewed. Okay. It's renewed. The pain is, is dealt with from the seven of swords and the situation is renewed, right? Um, King of cups. This is your feelings in the situation. Lots of feelings in the situation to the ace of cups in reverse, talking about overwhelming emotion. I see what's happening here, Pisces. So something else is happening here too, okay? This is what's going on right here, right here, right here. So codependency is the root of the imbalance, right? The tower is the upheaval in your lifestyle, okay? Temperance, being tempered about the situation. It's, it's, it's healing. It's wanting to help. It's balance and patience and purpose, right? To the two of pentacles, prioritization to the king of cups because of your great love for this person or this situation. The ace of cups in reverse, all of, all, all kinds of hurt feelings. Okay. So temperance, wanting to help, two of pentacles, wanting to help balance something out, king of cups rooted in just pure love to the six of pentacles, giving, receiving, sharing the eight of swords in reverse, kind of a new perspective. It's kind of like, well, it's like, it's like giving some, someone or something a second chance here. Like I said, it could be a child. It could be a mother. It could be a lover. It could be a job, right? But you're trying to have a different, you're trying to have an open mind and an open heart and give something the benefit of the doubt, okay? Despite the resentment from some fuckery that's gone on in the past with the Seven of Swords, you're open to change in the situation because, again, you have so much love with this King of Cups. Justice, truth is spoken, perhaps some boundaries are laid down, perhaps some rules are laid down. Um, but there is justice brought to the situation, honesty, fairness, and accountability. And I really think this is you setting boundaries with whatever this situation is for you, right? Setting boundaries, maybe even signing contracts about it to the two of pentacles in order to all be on the same page, to all be, all be thinking and moving in the right direction, balancing things out, priorities with the justice card. What chores are you going to do in the house? What kind of return am I going to get for my investment? Whatever it is for you, right? To the 10 of swords in reverse. If we can do it this way, there might be be an opportunity to regenerate this situation, okay? But only if we can do it this way. Only if we can do it this way, because I have much love for this situation. Ace of Cups in reverse. This is the doubt, okay? <laughs> this is why your happiness is at stake here with the tower, okay? There's this doubt to the Knight of Cups in reverse. <sighs> Hesitancy to put yourself in all the way hesitancy to even do any of this all the way around, period. Hesitancy to engage in the realm of your emotions. Strength in reverse talks about feeling slightly insecure about what it is that you are agreeing to, even if you do have some tight boundaries in place with justice, okay? There's hesitancy right here. What's the hesitancy? Well, it's the eight of wands, right? Movement, action, swift change right underneath you, the six of pentacles, um, the nine of cups, the tower, right? So movement, action, and swift change is what you're hesitant about here. All talk, no action, undelivered promises, and laziness, okay? Um, you are concerned that even though you guys have spoken about justice, that this situation or this person is not going to deliver their end of the agreement. Okay. Three of swords. You're already experiencing grief and sorrow and regret in your head about this situation. And you're like, oh my God, ace of pentacles in reverse, lost opportunity. Did I just loan 
this person this amount of money and they promise and promise and promise of how it's going to be paid back and i just know already i just know already that it's not they're not going to pay me back i gave it to them anyway because i have love for the situation but um i just i know i shouldn't have done that i just shouldn't have done it because there's something here about perpetuating codependency in this situation and you are in a position to be an enabler somehow some way you're in a position to enable codependency by whatever this is that's coming at you right and you knew better you knew better but you did it anyway and that's what these cards are saying and it's like instant buyer's remorse instant regret i knew i should not have done that the sun in reverse, right? Not seeing clearly. You're not seeing clearly because you're clouded with love. To the king of pentacles and the six of wands in reverse. This is interesting to me. I'm going to have to work my way through this for a second because we have the king of wands as well and the chariot and the queen of cups and a lack of progress. Okay, I see what's happening here. So your hopes for this situation is that it's going to return the King of Pentacles, okay? And I'm, by return, I mean exchange, bring, you know, it's going to create the King of Pentacles. You are hoping that this situation, the other person, party, entity in this situation is going to do the integritous stand-up thing with the King of Pentacles. You do. That's what you're hoping is going to happen. But Spirit's coming in and telling you that this person is the King of Wands. He's not, or she, is not the King of Pentacles, okay? They're two utterly, completely different beings, the King of Wands can't wear the clothes of the King of Pentacles, and nor can the King of Pentacles wear the clothes of the King of Wands. They are diametrically opposed to one another. The King of Pentacles believes in the institution of security, marriage, family, long-term goals, long-term investments, IRAs, the bank account, and the King of Wands is like, ah, fuck it. You know what? Let's see. let's let's just. He reminds me of Jeff Bezos a lot, right? For Amazon, he's like, ah, oh, just you know what? Throw a couple billion over here, and let's throw a couple billion over there, and let's see how it rolls, right? And the King of Pentacles is like, oh no, no, don't do that. You have to invest properly and carefully, and you have to research, and you have to transfer things around so not everything is lost if something goes wrong. And the King of Wands is like, nah, we're going to put it all in over here, and just for backup, we're going to put it all in over here too. They're just diametrically opposed, right? And you're hoping this person is going to show up and be the respectable King of Pentacles. But this person is the respectable King of Wands, right? This person is flighty and fiery and, and unsettled, right? They're, they're unsettled. They're unsettled. The chariot, movement, forward motion. To the Queen of Cups love feelings return to love tell me about the chariot and the queen of cups right here please yeah look the tower to the nine of wands nine of wands being resilient persistent um worn out right worn out and you're hoping, what you're hoping here is that this doesn't happen again. You want the King of Pentacles to take the chariot, get their act together, right? Get their act together, um, reciprocate love, um, out of love, you want them to get their life together. But you're fearing the tower and you're wondering if this was just not just another just another thing with this person just another thing and maybe it is because you are an enabler you are enabling this person to do this to you believe it or not you are you are you are enabling this person to do it to you by deciding to not decide with judgment in reverse right there you see it full well you know it could absolutely positively blow up in your face and it very well may but you did it anyway because you love this person six of wands in reverse a lack of success 
a lack of reward, the world in reverse, the blockage. To the devil, what's your blockage? What's your blockage in your life in general? The attachment that is restricting your personal growth is you enabling codependency from someone else. Maybe it's your kid and it's time for them to stand on their own two feet and figure it out for themselves. Guilty of that right here. I am an enabler and I admit that. And I've worked for a long time to try to grow in that particular aspect of my life and I am growing in that particular aspect of my life and these tower moments may be t maybe for me right here right because the tower doesn't come without an awakening and the same tower will happen over and over and over again you lend money to the same person over and over and over again and they don't pay you back over and over and over again but you do it out of love because you don't want to see this person suffer right so you enable them to keep going back on their word that they're going to pay you back because you accept it. Or put it anywhere. Put it anywhere, right? Anywhere in your life. That's what's going on here. There, This blockage is the attachment that is a restriction to your growth, which is you enabling a particular situation in your life repeatedly over and over again and it blows up in your face and you don't learn from it and you keep doing it over and over and over again okay three of wands in reverse a lack of foresight to the hierophant in reverse how do you correct this situation good question right what do i do well the hierophant in reverse says you have to reevaluate your belief system because this belief system isn't working for you. It's not working for you at all. So you have to reevaluate your belief system. Reevaluate what you believe to be good and right and proper in a situation. To the three of swords in reverse, when you accept and understand what is being told to you right here, you can move into emotional fulfillment and move from the nine of cups, emotional fulfillment, security, good life, right? Move from the nine into the 10, but you can't get from the nine of cups to the 10 of cups because the world in reverse is blocking this whole reading because tower moments keep coming to you in this particular situation and you keep forgiving and forgetting and, and accepting and enabling some kind of bad behavior in your life. The five of wands internal conflict, external conflict, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, lost money, lost opportunities, not worth the time and the effort, the Queen of Cups in reverse, hurt feelings, the Three of Pentacles, always promising, right? Always negotiating, always promising, always negotiating things, Five of Pentacles in reverse, to pay you back, always promising to pay you back or give back to you somehow, some way. Five of Swords in reverse. But now there's a lot of resentment building up to the Ten of Pentacles in reverse because they keep taking from you somehow, some way in the realm of security. They keep taking from you. The Nine of Swords, anxiety, despair. The Six of Swords in reverse, but you're stuck. Why are you stuck? The Prince of Cups, because you love this person or this situation or this job and you would do anything for it. And it's crippling you. Eight of Pentacles. You want the situation to succeed so bad. You truly do. You want the situation to be successful so badly. You want this situation to turn the corner and have a straight run home. Right? You truly do. Prince of Swords in reverse. But... This is a need for responsibility and it is you seeing this other side of its need for responsibility, but this is also you needing to take responsibility. How do you do that? Well, you jump into the hermit energy and you do some sincere soul searching and introspection 
about this situation. In that hermit energy, you quiet asking, audibly asking your higher power to illuminate the path and guide you in the direction you should go in this situation. And you know what they say? Princess of Cups in reverse, block creation. Block creation with this situation. See the awakening of the tower moments, plural. See the awakening of the tower moments and stop doing this with the Princess of Cups in reverse. And they will show you how in your particular situation. To the Emperor, take control of your life. To death in reverse and have a personal transformation to the ace of wands and and manifest an inspired passionate new beginning in the way that you do things in your life particularly in this situation seven of pentacles in reverse because if you keep doing things the same way you've always done them you're always going to get what you always have gotten and that is the fuckery that's going on right here justice in reverse it is unfair it is unjust it is dishonest and it is not in your best interest to the star in reverse it is not purposeful for your life that's what these cards say, Pisces. I do hope that this helped you somehow, some way. If you want any kind of confirmation, clarity, wisdom, guidance, or understanding about any of this that's happening in your life, you can reach me at thegypsypsychic.com. And if it's not me, please just don't waste time. Just get your cards read. I do hope this helped you somehow, some way. Namaste.